name is Apollo Steria and I'm the creator and founder of Shaman Spears. Shaman Spears are uniquely handcrafted energy channeling devices which I invented myself. They're basically like a mix between wands and spears. So the idea of it is kind of like ancient future, bringing the aspect of spears from the past and then also wands or energy devices and kind of mixing them together. Shaman spears are something I've been working on for about nine years now. And uh, it's been quite a journey with the creation process and how they've evolved over time. So my background and a little bit how I got into this is I was actually raised by quantum touch energy healers. So every single spear I make is completely unique. I never make any two the same. And all the symbols that you can see here that are on the spears that I paint are basically crop circles that have been found around the world, uh, usually around England. Um, I also always put the Eye of Ra or the Eye of Horus on all the spears up here normally. And they're all signed by yours truly. Uh, also, I sometimes put some ancient power symbols, star knowledge symbols, or ancient runes, depending on the collection. But every new collection I make is kind of themed on a different kind of theme. This, this one was actually themed on the ultraviolet collection, I called it, so all the colors in it are more ultraviolet themed. My next collection is probably going to be a more elemental earthy collection, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, but yeah, I've probably made you know, maybe about every three months I make a new spear collection. Like I said, they're all completely unique. I never make any two the same. So everything is really like a piece of art. It's not a product, it's a piece of art, but it's also technology. So they're actually all art and technology. So I actually go out into the wild and harvest the bamboo myself. A lot of people ask me where I get it and that's what I do. I actually kind of make a thing of it every season where I go out and once a season I harvest the bamboo, I chop it down myself and uh, prepare it and clean it up and it feels really nice to go out in nature and do that. So this is organite, and basically this is an example of organite that is made in resin. I actually made this myself, and I make a lot of my own organite spearheads. But what's interesting about organite is uh, basically all the materials down the insides of my spears are organite materials. So the way organite works is, um, is layers of metals, organic and inorganic materials. It can be magnets. It can be, but usually there is a piece of quartz with a copper coil wrapped around it that compresses the energy inside the piece of resin. So the way it works is that the quartz would be in the middle with a copper coil wrapped around it. And when the resin compresses the other materials around it, like the different metals and organic materials, it actually creates piezoelectric energy. Uh, this piezoelectric energy is very interesting because it's kind of like an electromagnetic energy that uh, often is what comes out in paranormal sites around the world. Uh, a lot of piezoelectric energy comes out of volcanoes, um, you know, different fault lines, and this is why there's these kind of places around the world are paranormal hotspots and UFO hotspots because of the electromagnetic energy in those areas. Okay, so these are the different materials I'm using inside my spears. Um, these are magnets, these are quartz, which is actually quartz that was found in Giant Rock and Joshua Tree in a very sacred spot. That's usually where I get my quartz. Um, I also use a mixture of 
different crystals and materials I get from sacred places around the world. I travel a lot to different sites and collect these materials. Um, naturally magnetic hematite sand, which is actually uh, what fills up the insides of the spears. And it's really interesting because hematite has actually been known to be found in our brains, which is probably what causes us to be interconnected magnetically. Um, possibly also telepathically, who knows? This is kind of like a crystal mixture. Uh, I also get sand and things like that from sacred places around the world. Um, so this is kind of an example of how the quartz and the magnets are alternated. As you can see here, they would be all down the insides, alternated like this, quartz and magnets all down the insides. The way that the spears work is that they are alternating with quartz and magnets all down the insides. Um, the naturally magnetic hematite sand is actually poured in between the magnets. So I alternate the magnets with the quartz sort of like this. Um, so they would be kind of alternated between the quartz and the magnets, uh, which works as compressing the energy um, sort of like organite. So everyone who gets a shaman spear actually gets knighted energetically by me in person if they get it from me in person. If they order it offline, they still at least get one of the scrolls, which I make myself. Every shaman spear comes with a scroll. And uh, what's really amazing is actually these scrolls are sort of like a certificate for having a spear, but also um, I kind of call this initiation aspect of it the Keepers of Avalon. So basically anyone that gets a spear, they are joining the Keepers of Avalon and this is sort of your certification and what it means to have one. But it's kind of a secret what it says until you get one. So my favorite thing to do with shaman spears is actually going hiking with them and exploring sacred places around the world. I bring them everywhere with me. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. So I hope you enjoy your shaman spirit and use it well. So again, that is all on shamanspears.com.